right, oh, and welcome. We haven't seen this place before. <laughs> yeah, it's not like there's a map that shows us clearly where to go. All right, so on the running man, we need to go bottom right. Where's the running man? Here we go, running man. Gotcha. Running man? Yeah, see, there's like a, it's like the doors make the shape of a man that's running with his arm up. No, I don't see it. <laughs> All right. And next, this is number two. So this is on the place with only four doors missing. And we go at the bottom of the T. And then number three. We go on the big letter C, right at the crook. And then on number four, it's on this screen, top middle. This is a cool song. It is. This is this is actually my favorite font song in the game. Too bad we don't get to hear more of it. Or Creepy. do we? I wonder if there's a cube in here. There it is. <laughs> oh, Phil Fish, you just gotta be cryptic, don't you? Way to create a universe that has a shitload of lore and nothing to explain it. Yep. Classic. He pulled a Dark Souls, except not... I mean, Dark Souls really does not have a lot to explain the lore. People just theorize based on the tiny tidbits that there are. Yeah. But the difference is Dark Souls has a shitload of items with descriptions that have a small amount in them, whereas this game has dialogue. All right. And we're done with the cool music and one of the coolest puzzles in the game. And a level that was purple for a brief second. Yep. That level in the background is pretty fucking purple. Yep. Right purple now. shit. Alright, so... We it's time Lolo. to ascend. Get the Lolo. I will. I almost didn't jump there. Try not okay, to that's do all that. the bits. Good. Here we go. Oh shit! Coming up on the end of the game! Stop looking at me, Swan. He's like, ah. He's an Oregon Beach boy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. Uh, it's true. And there we have it. We're officially done with the video game.
Wait, aren't we missing a yellow cube? Yes. And okay. I know exactly where it is. I missed it myself way back here. Back to the future. Actually, more like back to the past because we're going back to the past. To the future. No, we're going to the past. Back to the present. Back to the or can Beach Boys. Yes. All right. So, all of the remaining little biddies are uh, hiding away among these doors in here. In particular, I know there's one in here, so let's go. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Fucking... Let's go, Gomez. Doorway is that? It's that this one. one. <laughs> How did you miss this? <laughs> I don't know. Bam! So now we have two things that we need to do. And by the way, I was right about my original thought. Which is that those throne rooms didn't matter. So the thing about those throne rooms is the code they tell you is actually just another alternative to the QR code. Oh. So you don't even need to do the QR code. You can just do the throne rooms and then the QR code will be done automatically. So that's what you were talking about where you can do the QR code without even half needing the QR code. Yep. Uh, nice. So yeah, with that we have every single cube and anti-cube, all the maps, and we're still missing an artifact. Hmm. Fuck! No, it's okay. I know where it is. We're fine. I know. I know you know. Actually, I don't know where it is. Where is it? Shit! I thought you knew. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. I know where it is. Wait. No, you don't. Wait, yes you do. Wait, no you don't. Wait, yes you do. Ah! Oh, it's there. We go back. We go back to. We go back to the, the, the quick yellow fox jumps over a popcorn. But not just any popcorn, am I right? The popcorn. Well, I was. I. I. Okay. I don't know where you're <laughs> going. Please extrapolate. That's, yeah, extrapolate. I mean, you used you use the quick. Kind of Right, you had the you had the quick adjective in there, so I figured you wanted to add the lazy adjective in there too. Nope. Just, okay. No, no, popcorn can't be lazy. It's just popcorn. But it can be lazy. Popcorn is like the epitome of laziness. <laughs> I like how now the black screen thinks that it's fucking with you, and it's like shit. He knows what he's doing. I'm done. <laughs> That's like fuck. I'm out. Can I just jump to that and I'm an idiot? Wow. You are an idiot. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so another hint that this is supposed to be a Rosetta Stone is the fact that you find the writing cube here. Yay, writing Yay. cube. Naturally, as with the number cube, you can use that cube to write any letter in the Fez alphabet, AKA cubism. Is that actually what it's called? No. Oh. That's what I'm calling it. I like it. Alright. So now that that's done, there's still one last little square on the map that we've got to fill in before we go see that true ending. Ah! The black holes appeared on me. There was nothing I could do. Let's see. Do I remember where to go? Bell Tower. Right there.
All right. I am sorry for that. That was not the right room. Yep. Yo, at least we get to listen to that sick music for a while before it fades out. Yep. Oh, boy. Yep, we got a big boy door to open. We don't got time to see no ending. Here Look at this we fucking go. door. So, because you can't actually see how many heart cubes you have on this screen, this room shows you, how, very kindly, how many heart cubes you have. You have three. Yep, and there are only three to collect in the game, so... We have every single heart cube on top of having a full, completed inventory. Also, this music's pretty chill. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like... This game made me this game made me love Disaster Piece for their amazing music. And then I played a different game that also has Disaster Piece music as a soundtrack. And that game blew me out of the water. Not to be confused with Disaster Artist. Yep. Not to be confused with Disaster Artist, the documentary about the room that not to date our video or anything, but is not out yet. Yeah, it is. Is it? It is out. <laughs> oh. People have already oh, done reviews on it. <laughs> well, shit. I really didn't date our video, as it turns out. No, yeah, it's it's already out. It's been out for a little while. Well, now you're dating our video. It's been out for a little while. A little while could be a year. A little while, I'm pretty no, sure, little... cannot be a year. <laughs> no, probably not. But it, it's been out. It's been out for a little while. All right, then. Anyway, let's go watch that ending, shall we? Here we go. Let me prep my uh, very quiet voice so nobody can hear the the mysterious things that I say. <clears throat> and then this is going to be the end. Was that I amazing? don't approve. I don't approve. Whoa. The frame rate. It's actually pretty high. Yeah, for some reason it's high, but it looks like it's not. Yeah. I can jump. I can jump. Yo, dude, Press you're the jump. <laughs> Press, press B to stop your Pokemon. What? Pokemon? Yeah, we don't From talk evolving? about Pokemon. We don't talk about Pokemon on this channel. We sure don't. Not like Did we have like, a running finish... joke about memes. Did you guys ever finish your playthrough of Pokemon? Alright, now that's something we don't talk about. <laughs> Because the I answer is I no. Oh, shit. Well, fucking A. At least they don't know what Pokemon it is. There's a lot of them. I mean, there's only one Pokemon series that's on our channel, and it's not finished. Is it? But it's not uploaded, is it? Part of it is. And it's published? Yeah. Oh, well, shit, dude. Mistakes Finish were made. We need to, eventually. Nega Gomez. We, you made that I joke. I remember last that time, joke. I love that. I love that joke. It's funny. It is funny. Hello. I agree. And now it's time for Nega Cube. If you hadn't noticed, the pattern on those is the pattern on the gold cubes, and those ones are the anti cubes. Hey, look! There's no screen glitchiness this time. Or is there? No, there's not. With Dada! It's a full cube again.
beat the game. So now we get to see the logos again. Yay. And then we get to press A to start again. And that's it. That's the entire ending. I guess we'll see you guys in another LP. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, that's not. <laughs> And that actually is the ending. Goodbye! <laughs> so last time we were spending the whole fucking time zooming in on Gomez here. So I guess this time we're zooming out. Now what? Oh, well, okay. More of that this. That is our planet. Yup. So outside of our universe is billions and billions of universes which zoom out to make a marble, which zoom out to make an alien playing with marbles. Which zooms out to make another marble that that alien is on. Which zoom out to make fuck it's Navi. <laughs> fuck it's a million fuck, Navis. Oh fuck, there's a million Navis. No. <laughs> uh, this ending sucks a, even more than the other which, one. Which zoom out to make a Gomez. Which zooms out to make a Navi. Oh boy, it's bitrate. Oh boy, Say hello to the bitrate. Everything is in a video game. What an ending. <laughs> now, let the comments flow with the with the theories. See what I think. I think that Fest takes place in a TV show, and that's why it ends with bitrate. And then someone comments on his comment. No, stupid. It's clearly a video game because of all the glitches. And then someone comments on his. No, stupid. It's clearly all just code, and we all live in Tron World. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. This game is actually just a conspiracy theory about the Matrix. <laughs> oh shit, dude, you are the one. No, but dude, that's the point. Wait. You're not though. Like, it literally, it's all about how we're all trapped inside the Matrix. That's why when the game reboots, you get, like, a system rebooting screen, because it's the fucking Matrix. Wait, that makes sense, too, because did you know that if you take Fez and rearrange the letters, it makes Ez... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, conspiracy theory! <laughs> did you know that Fez is three letters long? And that a B backwards is a 3. And that if you add a line to an F, it becomes an E. And then that can be turned backwards to make another 3. And therefore we have three threes, and there are three sides and three uh, points on a triangle. And therefore, the Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> uh, I will always indulge in that meme, because it's hilarious. It's pretty good. Also, this is another one of my favorite songs in this game. Pretty good. I love it. It was a good song. Like, that's the thing about this game. Derek! I'm the music a treat, in Derek. this game... The music in this game is legitimately fantastic when it's playing, but it's, like, Yo, never John playing. Blow. John Blow. John Blow, dude. John, John Blow. Blow, there he is. He's gonna blow! Fucking... Wait, which game did John Blow make again? I don't remember. Uh, Blowjob Simulator. No, there's, like, legit, there's a game that's by John Blow that was, like, it's another indie game. I don't know. I, don't I remember be it being another, like, really cryptic-ass game that's, like, really good. Super Meat Boy. <laughs> that game's cryptic as fuck. Because that game 
<laughs> that game, did you know that uh, meat is is four letters, and if you take four and minus three, it equals one, and then one, uh, if you add a zero, becomes binary, and if you add a certain amount of ones and zeros, it becomes Illuminati. <laughs> Perfect. That was quite the stretch, too. <laughs> yeah. Had an, they all had are. To, Having to switch to fucking binary code. <laughs> Polytron. Well, um, I hope you guys are ready for our next play for our next playthrough to be Fez Two. Dude, oh, no, shit. really though. No, actually, just gonna say this. Our next playthrough, I've decided, is going to be. Fez 2. Yeah. Fez completely, two. no, completely unironically, we're going to play through a game that might as well be Fez 2. Okay. See you then. Yeah. I'm excited to see this game that doesn't exist. <laughs>